I really can't imagine what it's like to be either one of those girls and like, you know, we don't want to pin girls against each other, but all three of them have product lines, okay? That's what we're, we're doing today. We want to try Rare Beauty, Road Skincare, and Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics. Her team needs to do better. Like, Justin has not said one thing yet. Hey guys. I'm Nikki. And I'm Gabby. And today we are doing a video we both really wanted to do. Everywhere I go, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. Our sub boxes, like everything, everything is, is like about the drama. To make a Cliff Notes version, Haley and Kylie, Kylie posted a screenshot of their FaceTime call making fun of how Selena over laminated. <laughs> allegedly. Over oh, alleg allegedly. No, they did. No. When she over laminated her eyebrows, they thought it was ha ha so funny. That FaceTime changed the world for a week. That, that's kind of sad. I really can't imagine what it's like to be either one of those girls and like, you know, we don't want to pin girls against each other, but all three of them have product lines, okay? That's what we're, we're doing today. We want to try each product line. We want to try Rare Beauty, Road, Skincare, and Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics, which by the way, I have not used yeah, since Kylie since. Cosmetics and Kylie Skin. I stay very true to Ariana Grande and Kylie Jenner products. So this is gonna be a new experience for me with like Rare Beauty and Rhodes. So we're gonna be trying all the new products from all three lines, but personally, I'm actually interested and excited to try the new Kylie Cosmetic products. I, I wanna see what new products she has. I really didn't get into Kylie's skin. Okay, where's Where did the makeup we put wipes? the makeup wipes? Here. I actually forgot about this. I forgot that the Jenners and Selena Gomez had beef. I remember that being a thing when I, we were in college, Gabby, and like Selena Gomez like went to like Coachella with them and then all of a sudden they all unfollowed each other. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. No, we were like, oh yeah, we were in college. It was like 2014. Everyone is calling Kylie Jenner and Hailey Bieber the mean girls and that they're Nepo babies. And it's kind of like the Nepo babies <coughs> versus Selena Gomez. And I'm just curious how Justin's feeling through all this. Like the girls are beefing, like, you know, like how does he feel? Like your ex of 10 years and then your wife of five years, like, publicly feuding like and can we talk about how Justin has not said one thing yet I know Haley's getting like like people are digging and they're like finding shit online of her apparently stalking allegedly stalking Justin Bieber to become his wife I think the first thing we should try since we're about to talk about Haley let's try road yeah because we have all of our makeup off let's do skincare before we get into the rare beauty and the Kylie cosmetics We have Hailey Bieber's peptide glazing fluid to become a glazed donut. The Barrier Restore Cream. And then we also have the peptide lip serums, which these are so popular on like TikTok, everywhere. Uh, this was what I was the most excited about. You're gonna be obsessed with these. Okay, am I? You just do like a little pump. And then you put on the Restore Cream. Something to note though, there is like hardly any product in here. And like you wait, you get on a wait list if you get it and you wait for it to come. And it's like the lid is the whole design of the bottle. You take it off, there's only this much product in here. Oh wait, that's smart marketing, but yeah. like also so bad. Yeah. Cause like that's like, you just took off half the bottle. Literally. Okay, so let's put on the Restore Cream. What are your yeah. thoughts so far? I'm not gonna lie, I do like this product. I feel like it's good like, what, to, like, to go to the beach or something. Yeah. yeah. Like when your skin's really dry and needs a drink. I'll be honest, I'm getting the same vibe as like Kylie's skin a okay. little bit. Maybe it's like the same like manufacturer. We know like the girls are like friends. They're connected. So maybe they're connected. These are like so sold out. These are the peptide lip treatment. I got salted caramel and watermelon. Oh, can I have salted caramel? I knew you were gonna ask me that. And I'll use the watermelon. Ooh. Mm. Smell that, this smells like our childhood. Okay, Gabby, since you haven't really used this ever, what do you rate it one out of 10? Um, the skin mm. stuff, I feel like, first of all, I don't like how this, like what you just said, this would piss me off if I spent, what was it, like $48 for this thing? I don't remember. I, I say this is $48. It really should be like $24. Yeah, and it's also like really like, I also feel like the formula, I've worn it before. I'm getting the, I'm getting same, the same vibe, vibe as like Kylie's like skin. skin. Overall, I give this product line a six. I agree. A six. I agree. We're gonna give Rode a six. So we give this a six. I can't believe we agree. Yay. Okay. 
So the next product line we're gonna try is Kylie Skin because we're not wearing any makeup yet and then we're gonna get to the makeup product line. This is the Clarifying Cleansing Gel. I mean, granted, we already have road on our faces, but the hell with it. So basically, I was on the phone with Nikki when I went into Ulta and I was like, Nikki, help me. I don't know what to buy for the video. I was like, Nikki, help everything in this section looks like what I was buying 10 years ago. I don't know what's new. Yeah. I wanted to buy the new products to review. I personally feel like, like even the branding, it's like, it's not evolving. Like you're Kylie Jenner, like do something innovative, do it bigger, go bigger and better. Like this is 2019, this is 2019. We're, you know, in 2023 now. Like that was like four years ago. Like we need, we need to, to be, rinse this off. we need to rinse this off. <laughs> I think our skin looks great right now. <laughs> but we did just use road before this. <laughs> like we're extra. I don't know which one is doing the trick. <laughs> which one is it? <laughs> I don't fucking know. This is Kylie clarifying gel cream. Oh, this is like water based. Oh. Oh. Can you share the mirror, please? I like this better than the glazed donut shit. Oh my God. This is a glazed donut. Her team needs to do better. Like, this is a great product. It It's different from all the other stuff from 2019, but as like a consumer, we think, oh, it's just another Kylie skin product. But no, this shit's good. The glazed donut I know, is maybe, really good Maybe she has had new promos. Maybe we're just not keeping up. If we're not kept up to date, like who is? We're glued to our phones. We follow these girls, like, you know. This is so vintage. We need to change this. I don't even remember the last time someone was talking about buying it. I haven't seen one of these in if, like five years. If this is how it be now, why on earth was she the most followed girl on Instagram? Like it's confusing and it's almost a little sus. I do want to just say though, to, to start a business, to start a product line, you need money. Money makes money. And these girls like Haley and Kylie, have money and they came from money and like we're about to review Selena's next but like she, she didn't come from anything if you watch the documentary like all her success is from herself and she put that all into a product line and that's really that's oh wow yeah. admirable that's impressive that's inspiring for girls that have so much money I don't know Kylie needs to fix the marketing and Haley needs to give more product I hate this. I'm not even gonna put on anymore. I hate it. Do I put on this one? Do you want me to do this? Ah! <laughs> How'd I do? No. <laughs> it smells like house paint, like from Sherman Williams. I miss when they smell like cake batter. It smells like paint. The way that this is drying is really bringing me back. I haven't worn this since I was in college going to a bar. It was so dry that if you went like this, it looked like an anus. Oh my God. Uh -uh. All right, we're taking this off. I don't like it. I go thought of two. So what do you give Kylie Skin, Kylie Cosmetics as one? Like just Kylie products. Oh, I give her a five out of 10. I think she, I, I'm giving a five because of this like water-based moisturizer that was so good, but I wasn't impressed by anything else. Yeah. But this was really different. I give Kylie's line a six as well. The only reason I give a six, like one more point, is because I actually really did like this clarifying cleanser. It was this Kylie Skin, honestly. If it weren't for Kylie's skin, I think I'd be giving like a three. Or yeah, two. if it wasn't for that, I would give this like two. a two. Last but not least, I'm so excited to review and see Gabby's reaction to the iconic Rare Beauty, which I'm already gonna say, this is like stupid for me to review it because I it's my everyday makeup. I already know it's a 10 out of 10, but I'm ready to see Gabby's reaction. We would start by putting under your, your under eye circles. Like so. And then I take the contour stick and I also contour underneath. So far, I feel like it looks super airbrushed. Wow. It's dewy too. No, I really like it. It's so soft. I can't believe I've never tried this. Like why? We haven't even put on the foundation yet. So we're just gonna go on top of all this that we just did? Yeah. Oh, I'm getting the cake smell. I love my face right now. I wanna wear this today. Okay, so what do you rate Rare Beauty? 
an 8 out of 10. I give a 9 out of 10. I only took two points off because I see it is, is kind of oily based. And I just did the glazed donut stuff. I didn't expect Selena Gomez's beauty line to be as popular and mainstream as it is. It's if I'm going to so be honest. Good. So ultimately, all these girls have their own niches and they know their audience. But if we're going to have to rank everything, in first place, we give Rare Beauty. In yep. second place, we actually give Road. And then third place, we give mm -hmm. Kylie Cosmetics. I... You know, I'm not one to like try to pin girls against each other. I don't like it. I also don't like cancel culture, but I do think that we're all just bystanders watching all of it happen. And it's like, how do you not talk about it? You know? Yeah. I just feel sad for whenever people like get happy over someone's downfall. But at the same time, it's a very interesting story. Like I feel like this there's could be like, a movie. There's like, a I lot like going on. Like it looks like a lifetime movie. You know, we, we just wanted to just review these three products because they're all very popular. Yeah. And we love makeup. So comment down below like what you guys want us to do on this channel we could totally do more reviews and we want to give you guys honest reviews no lash gate things here yeah let us know and we'll see you guys in our next video subscribe press the bell follow us on our vlog channels we post every week and we're gonna get back in the flow on this channel posting what we want and we'll see you guys in our next video bye, bye.